I'm a little bit shocked that I have to make this video, but I'm addressing a viewer comment regarding a video I put up a couple days ago on why we should stay away from batches that do not have tips attached to them. I want to know your thoughts. But first, hi everyone, it's Jen on the go. Welcome or welcome back to this channel. Thank you for subscribing, for liking and sharing and commenting on these videos. I listen to you guys. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you are new and want to be kept up to date regarding what it's like to be an Instacart shopper, should you do it? And if you do do it, how do you protect your account? What are the tricks and tips to make the most money? Then you will absolutely find value here. All you have to do is hit the subscribe button below and the bell next to it. That way you will be reminded when content videos are uploaded. And I do upload every week. Okay, let's go. I am making this video and I can't believe I am. I actually have to make it again, but I wanna know your thoughts. A few days ago, I put a video up and titled why you should stay away from batches that do not have tips attached to them. I will link that below in case you didn't see it. To my surprise, I received a lot of pushback on that video from other shoppers. And this is the disturbing part. This isn't from customers. These are from shoppers. And I'll let you know what one of them said, but I'm getting private emails and then some comments that you may or may not have seen but I'm perplexed, I don't get it. So I need a little help here from my fellow shoppers on what you think about some of these comments. I'm going to talk about one. This is what this comment stated. If you are replacing six to seven items on a 25 item shop, your tip should be removed. Should, your tip should be removed. Your customer does not want you to chit chat with them just get every item quickly and move on. They are busy with their lives, which is why they use the app. They don't want to stop what they're doing to chat with some random lady. I guess she's probably talking about me, but that's okay. Here was my response. To me, going above and beyond to find the very best replacements that the customer approves and appreciates actually warrants a tip increase, not decrease. Again, I'm not calling anyone out, but here's, I really wanna know your thoughts. Am I being harsh here to state that shoppers should be highly selective regarding the batches they take? I can't believe it. So basically, there, and it's not just this, this shopper, there are other shoppers privately emailing saying, no, it's okay to accept batches without tips. It isn't, it isn't. And I'm gonna draw a line in the sand here this is the problem. This is why Instacart continues to do what they do because there are shoppers with mentalities like this. It is not okay to ever feel like you shopping for somebody else and because they're out of stovetop stuffing and you got them the generic brand stuffing that your tip should be taken away for that. If anything, it's the opposite. Have you seen the stores lately? You guys as, shop, as, as shoppers know that yes, Oftentimes now my shops, especially this past week, I've been replacing so many items with constant communication with the customers. In fact, it's exhausting because the stores are out of so much right now that if anything, we should be overcompensated for this. There's no possible way any of you, and I hope if you're watching this, you're not taking these batches without tips. And again, I know I made a video about this and I don't mean to sound like a break, broken record, but I'm just shocked at the shoppers who are justifying this bad behavior. And what this shopper in particular is talking about here is tip baiting. She's basically saying if your item, if you have to replace items, your tip should be taken away. No, it shouldn't be. Your tip should be actually secure at that point. I, again, am not calling anybody out and I'm certainly not judging anyone and I didn't want, I don't want you to think that last video was in judgment because I know every area is different and there are situations, circumstances that you don't have access to all the batches that other areas do and we're not all treated equally here. And if this is your bread and butter, I'm not judging you for taking a batch. I'm just saying, please scrutinize your batches, know your worth know your value. It is not okay to spend extra time with your customers only to be punished for it 
because they don't have the items in the grocery stores. That, that doesn't make sense to me. Can you guys help me out here and let me know how we can explain to other shoppers the importance of putting that value on you? The batches alone, the batch payments alone are not enough to make any money. You must you must really look through these batches and look at these tips and do your shops, choose your shops based on whether or not you're going to be tipped appropriately. I also want to add that I received a couple comments from viewers who are shoppers stating, hey, listen, it's okay to take a batch without a tip if these are for people who are on fixed incomes and who are the elderly who just don't have the extra income to put on a tip or they have compromised immune systems and they can't get out and yes i completely agree with you it is okay to take these tips but how are we to know that that's who we are servicing we have a, a few seconds to examine that batch we don't know where they live who they are and that is on instacart and not the shoppers so we are doing the best we can and if i knew it was somebody in need if we knew it was somebody in need we would go out of our way to help those people that's when I'm stating, yes, I agree with you. There are exceptions to this rule and that should be corrected by Instacart. I received another email from a, uh, shop, a shopper who is a viewer on this channel who shared a screenshot with me. And this one is just absolutely outrageous. Um, it was for the, the batch amount was $7 and 25 cents with, oh, that included the tip. So guess how much the tip was? 25 cents yes ladies and gentlemen you heard me correctly this customer 25 cents tip on there it was for seven six items 38 units and you ready for this the the items were multiple quantities of clorox wipes in all different um kinds and then Clorox sprays in all different ki kinds. So seven of one unit, six of another unit, nuts. I'm seeing, I'm looking at the screenshot right here. And um, she did not accept this order, but surely someone did in about 2.2 seconds. Not to mention, how about this customer thinking she could even get 38 containers of Lysol wipes? Oh my gosh. What is what what is with some customers i don't understand and then shoppers are punished for this for not having these items and there's no way this shopper was ever going to be able to find this amount of wipes and even if they are there there are limitations there are limits on what you can buy and right now in my stores it's one 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 bottle of clorox if they're if it's even there one roll of toilet paper if it's even there or one package one roll of paper towels you guys know but I thought that that was crazy. So when I see things like this from customers, why are they doing this? Why are customers doing this? Because they can get away with it. And shoppers, we need to shut it down. And again, I'm not meaning to sound harsh, but it's reality. We have to do this so that Instacart will change. And it's never gonna change if customers, if shoppers are swooping up these batches. I read something on Facebook group and it's going around. You guys probably saw it, but no tip, no trip. I love that. That is true. Let's start practicing that. Again, you are worth more than what your customer is giving to you. Be picky. Keep being picky, you guys. And again, please weigh in here, viewers, fellow shoppers. I don't think I'm harsh when I'm, stay when I'm sitting here begging you guys to know your worth. Take your time scrutinizing that batch. Look at that tip. Look at it. The higher the tip, especially if, if it's an amount, $25, $20, you probably know that you're going to be okay there. But if you don't have a tip on that batch, stay away from it. Those are the batches. Those are the customers who are going to cause you the most grief and who are going to mess with your rating. And it is all about securing those ratings so that we can make the most money we can. As you go out and shop during this holiday week, I'm sure it's going to be very busy. And just know that you need to be paid for buying your customers potatoes and their turkeys, please. So really be careful, especially when you're in Costco. It is a nightmare in those stores right now. It is wall-to-wall, elbow-to-elbow people. So just 
make it worth your while if you're going to do that. You are putting yourself at risk so that they can stay home in the comfort of your so they can be comfortable in their own homes. And that's great. We're independent contractors. That is your choice. That is our choice. I'm happy to do it. I just need to be compensated for it. And you guys need to, too. So if you are doing replacements, do not justify that your tip should ever be taken away for that. If anything, you've earned it. You've earned more. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts. I will be back this week. I want to tell you guys about a giveaway that I'm going to um, share with you guys because I love you all. And I'm going to announce that on Thanksgiving on Thursday. So have a great week. You guys stay safe. Um, I hope everybody had a great week with their numbers this week and we will be in touch so soon. I love you all. Bye-bye.